Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thanks for watching. In this video, I want to talk to you about Agent Assist. So Agent Assist is a feature that's been part of ServiceNow for quite a while. Uh, we used to see it in the Agent Workspace, and now we have it in the Service Operations Workspace. And what it does is it provides a way for your agents, as they're fulfilling tickets or resolving incidents, to see other things within the platform without having to leave their workspace. So this is different than another video I did where I showed the new recommendation framework that came out in San Diego. So that's this little light bulb over here on the right hand side. I'll put a link to a video up top showing the recommendation framework that came out in San Diego. If you don't have a recommendation framework, you can still use this agent assist. And the agent assist is accessible through this little uh, graduation cap. The graduation cap, if I click on it, what it's going to do is it's going to search for things related to the particular ticket that I'm on. So if you look above my head, I've got a short description of computer will not power on or is not functional. Um, what ServiceNow does automatically is it takes that short description and populates the search on Agent Assist. So it's automatically trying to provide something. And in this case, um, if we look at this little slider here, we're looking at all of the catalog items or knowledge articles that are matching the search criteria that we just had here. So if I change the search criteria to something else, let's say it's a router, and I hit enter, it's going to search all those knowledge and catalog items for the word router and bring back anything that has the word router. So that's really helpful. So it automatically pulls in short description or your agent can type something else in here and get different search results. So if you notice here, I can go through different things and I'm going to call out a level one implementation of Agent Assist would be knowledge and catalog, knowledge articles, catalog items, pinned articles. Scroll down here a little bit, I've got open major incident, outages, open outages, etc, etc. That's level one, so it's using search to find stuff based on some search terms. Now, when you get into level two, or the more advanced, we have, um, let me highlight this box, similar incidents, similar open incidents, similar resolved incidents, and similar knowledge articles. This is using predictive intelligence within ServiceNow to only return results that match that similarity solution used in predictive intelligence. So it's going to be intelligent about what it finds and only bring back the stuff that matches that criteria. So I searched network, it found a bunch of network stuff. If I get rid of that, it'll use the short description. And notice the difference. So before when we were seeing similar in or incidents, we saw a bunch of them, or catalog items I think it was. Now when I come in here, it's only going to find an incident in the similarity solution using predictive intelligence. So that's the machine learning that you can program and use. Now this will only work if you have about 10,000 records for the similarity solution. So if you have less than 10,000 incidents, if you have less than 10,000 open incidents, resolved incidents, or knowledge articles, these similarity solutions won't quite work yet. So you got to get to a certain number. But once they do, they're really helpful. So Agent Assist is there to assist the agent. Again, remember, it's not the same thing as the recommendation framework. Recommendation framework is working a little bit differently, but using some of the same tech. And you can start level one with Agent Assist by just using the plain search. And then level two would be getting to that predictive intelligence. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested. Until next time, don't forget to always be learning.